So, in 2007, Anchor Bay's contract with producing Thomas DVDs were coming to an end, and they released Thomas VHSs that have not been released on DVD, with mediocre box art and changing the DVDs cover entirely. And one of those late Anchor Bay release releases were Thomas's track Side Tunes. Now that that intro is done, let's get into the other intro right now. So this one, this release, is one of the most nostalgic releases for me ever. I mean, I did lose the box art, but I still have the pamphlet. I, I don't know, but I will be reviewing every song and episode in this release and tell you how I feel about it as a kid and how I feel about it now. So let's get into the history. Thomas's track side tunes was released on VHS once with an amazing box art and on February 13th, 2001 and later on March DVD on geez and later on DVD on March 4th, 2008 by Anchor Bay with a basic box art but I do like the consistency of having Toby on the cover and that sunset is so bright. And then the same DVD was re re released in 2009 by Landscape in a two pack with Thomas and his friends help out. Now let's talk about the release and start off with the menu. The menu is e every other Thomas Anchor Bay DVD menu, but still a great one. And I love the red ribbon on the side in the song selection area. And the bonus features are. Sodor Stars, if I'm correct. Well, that's what the wiki calls it. And it it's just a watered down and worse version of the character gallery, but it does show a few characters that we have not seen in the character gallery. And it shows you one or two VHSs that they have an episode in of that character that they're talking about, which is cool to see. But not too much really. Now, let's get into the release with our first song, and that is Donald's Duck. I did not care for this song. I just found it boring and kind of annoying, but still watched it so I can get to my favorite song. But now I have gained to really like this song. It's a nice and lovely song about Donald and his duck. Even though the song is super late from season three. And now this is a season five. This came out, so. But we do got some specially shot footage of Dilly and Donald, which is great. And the shoddy stop motion of Dilly is just so charming. And her going around Donald, I love it. And, see, and seeing Dilly just placed in season five episodes, it's just funny, but weird to see. And I have always noticed this and how the Bouncing Cloud looked a lot more cheaper and worse than before but i'm just using like the you could say remastered version and the cloud issue was fixed but i give this episode why did i put episode i give this song a 7 out of 10. next is sir topham hat it is a very underrated song in my opinion i i liked it a lot as a kid but not a lot but i like the rhythm and now i like it even more the song just feels so grand, and the lyrics makes it even more grand. And they easily tell you who Fat Hat is. And the unseen footage just makes it even better. With this. And the sort of symphony version is much better. And as a tribute, I laid the children singing over the sort of symphony version. The second part of the song might not be lined up, but I tried my best. Or a muggle, he's there at the double, no trouble. Cause it's the fat controller's railway. 
The song makes him seem like an authority figure, but still a fun, friendly one. And the parts of humor in the song is just so great. This song just balances all sides of Fat Hat really well, unlike others. A very underrated song, but a few pacing issues. Uh, 7.5 out of 10. Now, our first episode, which is Gordon and the Gremlin. But before I talk about this, this release does not have the name board scene in between episodes or songs. It just has some season 5 footage of a random character every time with a bouncing cloud going once over the, over the character's name. And that's very odd and, and has mainly character scenes from season 5 and if it repeats a character, it uses different footage every time. It's, it's so weird and I don't know why they do this, but I don't know. Now back to the episode. First thing, instead of telling us the name of the episode or story, they tell us the narrator. That's weird. And second, to be honest, this is the worst season 5 episode. But as a kid, I found this one, this one fun. And just a funny episode. But now, it's, no- it's a nothing episode. It's just stuff happens on Sodor, the episode. Like, they talk about gremlins being in Gordon's firebox, then Gordon picks up a VIP from Thomas. Gordon splashes her bath water around. Why is there a bath in the coach? And then Gordon, then Gordon, geez, takes her back to Thomas for some reason, scares the dog with some charming stop motion. Then the dog goes into Thomas's cab and Thomas just takes the dog. And then when Thomas arrives at the docks, Gordon is gone, and the VIP is actually Fat Hat's mom, which I like, and and names the dog Gremlin, and Fat Hat makes a bad joke. Was that hard to follow? Well, that's this episode. It's just a nothing episode, but there's nothing offensive or anything, or anything like that. It just stuff happens on sort of the episode, but is a bit charming. I give this a 4 out of 10, just okay. Now come for the ride. This was my favorite song as a kid. I mainly just watched this DVD just to hear that song. The reason I loved it was probably because it's fast paced and my ADHD brain loved that. I cherished this song and sometimes started dancing around the room when 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 the song played. And now I still love it, but a little less. I wonder why. It has it has a great beat, fun lyrics, and all of the sped up footage does not look actually bad. But Thomas is going way too fast at the end. I don't I don't have too much to say, but I just like it and how it ties in with the last episode that we just watched before. I give this song uh, eight point five out of ten. The point five was from me loving it as a kid. Harold the Helicopter, a really badass song for Harold, and the build up at the beginning with showing letters of his name and just looks so cool and sounds cool too. And the very well written lyrics and makes him feel like a hero, but feels a bit repetitive and feel a bit, a bit, generic but that ending is a great one and i love the shots of him flying in the sunset with the children having like a slower pace it just looks majestic you could say but that's all i gotta say to be honest seven out of ten percy seaside trip a very fun one it's nothing too special but it's just a song about percy taking people to the seaside and it's one of my favorites as a kid after Harold the Helicopter, I would take out the disc, but I do have a memory of watching this in my living room and loving it. Not as much as Come for the Ride, but now I love it even more. With the change of lyrics every time and the photos of the seaside and that beat drop is just great. And even more especially, and even more especially shot footage used in this. I love that these classic Thomas songs 
use specially shot footage or deleted footage, and of course using regular footage. It's just a lot of fun and can really get stuck in your head if you don't pay if you don't keep track of the song. A solid 9 out of 10. I love it. Accidents will happen. The last song. And I liked it a lot as a kid, but I kind of don't. The lyrics, the beat, and everything is so good. And that ending with Gordon crashing crashing is just amazing. But what ruins it for me and many many others is that it's so overused everywhere on so many YouTube videos that get millions of views. It's just so overplayed and that kind of wrecked the song for me. A 5.5 out of 10. Sorry. But we are not done though. We have one more episode and that is Trucks or Rusty Helps Peter Sam. A great a great way to end this release. But I do feel like the Railway Series version was better because they were all the, the same color, which was red. And the Model Series, there are different colors, like blue and green. How did the trucks not know it's Peter Sam? He's clearly not blue. But besides that, everything else is great with Sir Handel getting his come up, come up in the end and the Fat Controller roasting him. And the crash is just great. And there are a few jump cuts, but hey, it's still a great crash. And they're trying to do their best. And I feel like the lesson is, is that never listen to Gordon's advice. Right, James? Look at me. Answer handle. 8.5 out of 10. A great way to end this release. Now... Is this release good and do I recommend it? Yes and yes to both. This release is great for collectors and just people who want to have a DVD of Thomas songs. Besides two duds, it has a ton of highs. A 7.5 out of 10 in total. Thank you guys for watching this video. And like and subscribe. And if you want me to react or oh my gosh if you want to recommend me more dvds to review just recommend them in the comments and bye available on video february 13th